Hey guys, it's Kirsten Figgy here, and this video is just on how to um, make a uh, guinea pig treat mix. So the ingredients that you'll need, they're all optional. You could add any ingredients you like. So the first thing that I have here, I uh, just some um, raisins and some um, some kind of cereal and some banana, oh, some dried apple in there. And then I have some cereal and so, um, cornflakes. Okay. And I also have some berry fruit mix, so they just, just dried fruit. I also have some birdsick silk, um, con no, um, country, ga yeah, country garden herbs. Um, just to uh, make it a little bit more tasty for them. Also, and I also have some uh, brown breadcrumbs. So, I just some brown bread. Make sure you're not using white bread because white bread is quite sugary and brown bread is more healthy. So, I just have a few breadcrumbs in there. Okay, and then I have some jumbo oats. Uh, I would recommend jumbo oats, but if you don't want to use jumbo oats, you don't have to. Okay, and then I also have um, some guinea pig food and a little bit of hay and then I also have some um, roast a uh, rose in here I just cut off my rose plant uh, but I didn't take it apart yet and I also have some leaves some fruit leaves things so yeah and you will also need to get a um, bowl and a um, just a spoon, just you don't really need a spoon to mix it, but anyway, I'll just take you over here. Okay, I can just stand up now because this thing has to close that. Okay, so I'll just take you over here. Alright, so the um, first thing that I want to do is add in the um, hay and the food. Just a little bit, not that much. Oh, I can see I still have some food left. So, yeah. So that's just what it looks like. And then I will add in the, um, just, just cut it up a little bit. Add in the leaves. The, yeah, the leaves, the fruit leaves. There we go. And shake it in, and then I'll add in the um, rose petals. There we go, and just break it all up. There we go, and then I'll add in the bread crumbs. I'm trying to hurry up because um, my camera is not, but uh, the phone's. Needs to be tired. and then I'll just add in uh, maybe a like three or four spoons of this because it is a treat mix. So, okay, so that is four, and then I'll my dogs are just playing around. You saw him. I think, oh, and I'm just adding a few bits of this. I don't know if you guys can see my dogs. <laughs> They're just running around the house. Cute. And then I'll just add in a, just a tablespoon of dried fruits. A tablespoon and a half. There we go. Okay. Okay, oh, oopsies. Oops. Oh. Camera, tripod, no god. But, oops. Anyway, so, yeah, I'll just put that over here. And then, you want to add in, um, just two tablespoons of oats. And then, just 
to add in just maybe just a handful of just, just a little bit of that. I need to put a shake it in. Okay. And there you have it. You have your treat mix for your guinea pigs. Okay. Just put it right inside the um my treats are going everywhere. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So it's teeth filled up to the top. Oh, what the hell? So my airtight tape is coming off. Okay, so this is just a treat mix. So it's gonna see it looks really, really tasty for my guinea pigs. And oh, sees again. It looks really, really tasty. And I'd say your guinea pigs or rabbits or hamsters, because these these things are pretty safe for all of them. Uh, so rabbits, hamsters, gerbils. But if you do have hamsters, I would really recommend putting like maybe some mealworms and things in there, um, just to. Uh, make it a bit more um so I'm on my berry fruits are nearly all finished. You don't get that much in the pack but anyway, um not on about the berry fruits, what about these treats? Um so I oh gosh, I have to take that off altogether. Okay. So um if you guys were wondering what that was, just some airtight tape, what I use on um, these jar jars, because it does come off, you just twist it around and it just comes off very easily, so, yeah, so, um, I'll just pour some in the paint, and you can see, what I have in here, this could go off any minute now, so, I'm just going to do the talking and it turns off, so, yeah, anyway, so I just have some leaves in there, some rose petals, some dried fruits, some oats, some food, and um, just some herbage and hay and things, and it looks really, really tasty. And I think that your small, your small uh, rodents would love it. Okay. I'll just move it over here because... This is really messy. Oops. Oopsies. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll just leave it like that. That's not right. Oops. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay. So, anyway, I'll just cut it up. Okay. So, yeah, you guys can add in, you guys can add in more more treats or thing or you can even don't even have to do the same thing uh, up here i have some banana some banana things to my guinea pigs don't really like so yeah but it, i heard that hamsters really like them most ha most hamsters do and you could just add in like dandelion leaves and uh, um just any type of flowers and um, you could even add in twigs, not those thick twigs, just uh, just these, um, you just want to add in just these tiny twigs. Um, I would have added them in, but I forgot, because these ones are uh, quite, these ones are not that uh, hard, it's really bendy. Um, they're not even twigs, but I would add in twigs. I might, I might actually go add some more tweaks to it. But anyway, that's just how you make your own um, guinea pig treat mix. And if you're good, if you did make it, um, please comment below saying if your guinea pig liked it or didn't like it. And so I would recommend giving this to them maybe once a week because they does have dried fruits in there and, and things. So yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.